Have you ever been tempted to clean your TV with some regular glass cleaner and some paper towels? Stop! You're gonna mess your TV up. Today's video is all about cleaning your flat screen television. It's very common to find dust, fingerprints, especially if you have kids, and even dried saliva on the television screen from outbursts of emotional excitement and outbursts of emotional disdain. Oh, come on! How you clean your television is going to depend on the degree of dirtiness, but no matter how dirty the television gets, we will always use a microfiber cloth. Never ever use paper towels or tissues because those materials are wood-based and the fibers in those products could potentially scratch the television screen. Also, you never want to use household cleaners because household cleaners contain either alcohol or they contain ammonia. Both of those two products will dry out the screen and eventually over time scratch and crack it. So let's get started. So let's talk about the level one cleaning. Your TV may not have fingerprints, it may not have dried saliva on it. If that's the case, it may just need a good dusting. And if it needs a good dusting, grab your microfiber cloth, make sure it's dry, and just start wiping it off and dusting it. Work your way from top to bottom, wiping off all the dust particles. and you're done. Now, if your TV does have some fingerprints on it, then we can move on to the level two cleaning. For the level two cleaning, we're gonna take our microfiber cloth and we are gonna dampen the cloth with distilled water. Don't use regular tap water because regular tap water tends to leave residue. Use distilled water. And when I say damp microfiber cloth, I mean ultra damp. You shouldn't be able to wring this cloth and water start dripping. Make sure it's ultra damp. From that point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to where the fingerprints are at and you can use a circular motion and just wipe away those fingerprints. Don't press too hard though. You don't wanna distort any of the pixels. Just repeat the process on the fingerprints in little circular motions until the TV, TV screen comes clean. Now, if your TV is really bad and you couldn't get the job done with the level two cleaning, then we need to move on to the level three cleaning. For the level three clean, you're gonna to need to spend a little money though and buy an actual electronics cleaner. There are a slew of them out there. We use this one right here. This is Windex Electronics Cleaner. I'm not gonna say it's the best one because frankly, I don't know what the best one is. Like I said, there's a slew of them. But any electronics cleaner should do for the level three clean. Real quick, before we get started, what makes an electronics cleaner an electronics cleaner is that they don't contain ammonia or alcohol, like regular cleaners. See, regular cleaners, like Dawn, contain alcohol in them. Windex contains ammonia. Now, do people still use these products to clean their television screens? Absolutely. Does it get the job done? Absolutely. But at what price? There's people that will tell you to mix one part rubbing alcohol and one part water, and then they'll clean their television screens with it. But what they don't realize is that over time, they're drying that screen out, and they could potentially ruin the television, crack the screen, scratch it with those products. People spend thousands of dollars on these flat screens, so it's important that you get this right. If you find an electronics cleaner, an electronics cleaner that's got ammonia or alcohol in it, Run away from it like a wild beast is chasing you. <laughs> Bury those cockroaches. The point is, it's a scam. If it's got ammonia or alcohol, it's not an electronics cleaner. Stay away from it. So back to the level three clean. Take your electronics cleaner and your microfiber cloth. Spray your cloth. Spray away from the television. Don't spray the TV. Spray your cloth. And if you're doing this level, it's a pretty nasty television. Just start wiping away the fingerprints and all the gunk. Any sticky stuff, just whatever you find on the screen. Just work your, work your way from top to bottom here. You can even do little circular motions. And uh, just repeat that process until the television comes clean and you should be good. So that's it. Three easy ways to clean your flat screen television. 
If you like this video, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more great cleaning videos. And as Mr. Fuzzball here would say, meow meow. Now let's watch some Animal Planet.